Welcome back, back to yummyjabbery.com. Yummy we're outside Panda V in Cover Garden and we're going to try out some of their yummy desserts. Okay, so we've got our desserts here. Uh, we've got four different desserts. We can tuck into the first two. I've got the baby panda, which is layers of cake and mousse with uh, black sesame and a charcoal powder. Um, I have the uh, sesame mousse, uh, which is there's layers of a sesame mousse, some panna cotta, uh, some the matcha green tea, matcha green tea, some cakey stuff, and a sesame uh, base. So let's give it a try. Um, both of these desserts have um, the mixture of mousse, cake, and panna cotta um, layers. Mm -hmm. So you've got different, you've got the cakey, fluffy textures, but then you've also got the panna cotta, which is like you know, your, jelly, your jelly pudding kind of thing. Yeah, I think um, both of them is a little bit uh, bland in flavour. Uh, even though Asian desserts are, tend to be not as sweet as the kind of European dessert, in terms of kind of depth of flavour, it was quite, actually quite bland and quite mono. Mm. That's in my opinion. But what, it, what really kind of gave this one its kind of oomph is the kind of sesame taste. Yeah, and it's the same with my one as well because I've got a bit of the um, black sesame brittle and it's actually really crispy. And the sweetness comes from the brittle as well. So you've definitely got the caramel taste in it. All right, we're on to our next two desserts. I have the pink passion and uh, Robert has the matcha lychee mousse. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so my one's called a pink passion. I think the name is a little bit misleading because ultimately what is in this dessert is layers of coconut mousse, coconut cake and a tropical fruit and mousse. The coconut flavour is very very subtle and I think without the desiccated coconut bits on the outside I think you probably are going to miss the fact that it's a coconut cake um, because there's more of the tropical fruits flavour that's coming out. But um, overall, I think the textures are, are, are good. Um, you've got like a glaze, like a jelly glaze on the outside of it. You've got the fluffiness of the cake, and you've got the um, like the little bits of the coconut uh, as well. So that adds an extra texture to it. Yep. Uh, for my kind of layer cake, there's a load of kind of different layers of matcha. There's powder. There's cake. With the mousse, and then there's one layer of the kind of lychee jelly, and then another layer of mousse, and another layer of matcha cake as well. But in saying that, I couldn't really taste a lot of matcha in it. I did taste the really subtle taste of the lychee itself, which was like a cooling kind of jelly-like kind of texture. Um, but even that kind of very subtle taste of the light of the lychee kind of overpowered the uh, almost tasteless matcha. <laughs> um, but in terms of kind of flavour itself. I'm yeah. not too sure. Okay, so we finished our four desserts here at Panda V. Overall, I mean, what can we say? Visually, they were really, really good. I think the flavours were a bit of a letdown. Why do we say that? It's because all the, the menu and um, all the descriptions of the different desserts, they were really good. When you think the big flavours like black sesame, matcha, um, you can't really go wrong with those. And we're really, really looking forward to, to tasting all of those different flavours. But unfortunately, they were near non-existent. Um, but, but we have to give them the credit which is the creativity, you know it's the first of its kind, it's an Asian fusion dessert place where it's fusing the Asian flavours with the European uh, patisserie skills as well, like we said, you know that's really really clever, it's really really really, really creative, um, but I think they really need to work on their flavours. So hopefully you've liked our video anyway and if you have don't forget to give us a thumbs up, thumbs up. subscribe down below to keep up to date with our future videos, check out yummyjubbly.com for more details of what we ate today and also our overall experience and also don't forget to keep eating, bye bye! bye.